Now I'm going to show you how to apply a casual wash. Uh, the difference between the two, the flat wash and the graduated wash, are usually applied to an area that has a very distinct boundary. You're working within a specific area to achieve that effect. But for a casual wash, which I'm going to show you on another blank sheet, is, as the word uh, says, it's casual. You apply this in a manner that um, has no boundary. You can use it for background treatments um, and for covering large areas of your watercolor paper. I'm going to use a big brush here. You can use any big flat brush um, because there, it, there's no real technique to it. But the one caution I'll tell you is you don't want to run out of paint halfway through. So mix up a lot of paint. You notice here I'm just going to flood this whole area. I don't even care if paint goes back and forth. I just want to have enough paint to cover an area. I'm going to test it to my watercolor paper just to see if I've got the right color that I'm striving for. And that's showing me that it's just a little too light. I'm going to need a little more pigment in there. So I might go to this one. Let's see? There. Now I have more color, more pigment showing up. So this mix is a little juicier. And that's a term we use, juicy, to describe if the paint um, that we've mixed up has more pigment in it. My brush is fully loaded. I'm going to come over to my surface and I'm literally just going to, whoops, have a drip. If that happens, you just go in right away and you spread it around. So this would be a casual wash that is going in all different directions. Notice how wet the area is. Now I'm working on a small area, small surface. Just imagine if you were working on a large sheet and you ran out of paint, you'd have to stop and start again. So having enough to carry all the way through is very important. So there's your casual wash just covering a general area of the design. One little tip, or one more little tip, is if you find it pooling along the edges for whatever reason, you can just take a paper towel and you can go in very gently on the edge and just pick up any little extra just on the very edge. Resist the temptation to touch this area. If you do touch it, you're going to create a problem for yourself. Also, if you reach over your work and you happen to drop water on the area by accident, like that, you are going to create what's known as a blossom right in the middle of your work. Let's see if we can see that on camera. And notice the way the water now will cause the pigment to disperse like this and reveal more of the paper underneath. And if you wanted that effect, that's great. But if you don't want that effect, it then becomes a flaw that you have to work around. So those are just some little tips about applying a casual wash. simple wash and this is a technique that we will use throughout the whole painting. I'm going to first wet my entire surface with clean water. Just one light coat. It's not it's wet but it's not completely flooded. clean water right across the entire surface. Now because I'm working with a large brush, I'm going to be able to cover a lot of ground very quickly. So my surface is wet and I want to do this before the surface. It's very shiny and if you can see here under the camera, the surface is still very shiny. So now I'm going to pick up a mix of two blues and I'm going to use both ultramarine 
and salo together. And I'm going to let each one flow into the other because this is a nice mix of blues here. I want my color to be fairly rich, so I've fully loaded my brush and into this wet base, I'm going to completely cover my paper with the blue. Going back and forth, and I'm going to let that color fade out. Come back in one more time, just to make sure that I have got enough color. I'm just going to let that color fade out to nothing. Bottom. And you can see there's a soft gradation of color from the top to the bottom. And that is a pretty standard wash. Now I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. Remember with watercolors they dry anywhere from 20 to 50 percent lighter. So you want to start off with a fair amount of color, not so, so dark that it is, looks opaque like this. Remember, it's got to be transparent, so you always add water. 